we're drawing blood from the centenarians, 242, from 80, 80 year olds, or um, participants in the range of 80 to 89 years, and then uh, from 400 young controls, 100 people each, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50, and 50 to 60. Some of the alleles have been connected uh, with Alzheimer's, so there is that connection as well, and that sort of allows us to bring in another piece of the biomedical puzzle, namely uh, those individuals that are characterized not only for their genes that they carry, but they're characterized for their neuropathology as well. The uh, apolipoprotein E4 allele seems to confer the greatest risk for uh, developing Alzheimer's disease and has been a target of uh, n a number of uh, research studies probably for the last uh, 15 or 20 years. Um, and uh, we've had the opportunity to look at the distribution of the different patterns or different combinations of these flavors of APOE in our centenarian sample. And uh, we've found that uh, actually uh, a, a fair number of our centenarians actually do have at least one copy of the APOE4 allele. We find that uh, if uh, a participant has at least one copy of the E4 allele, uh, their cognitive abilities almost across the board are significantly lower than the participants who don't have the E4 allele. I think what's interesting in our sample is that uh, if APOE is predictive of developing Alzheimer's disease and cardiovascular disease, uh, we would expect very few people in the centenarian group to have the E4 allele. And that's not the case. Um, there's uh, many more than, than you might predict. So what that suggests is that, that there may be protective factors within these centenarians that protect, actually protect against um, or mitigate against the development of a disease pathology like Alzheimer's disease because you have a subset of individuals who actually have this risk factor and yet have, have gotten beyond that, have, have, have still lived to this incredible age. Here's a population that may have something different about them. So by, by having uh, information about these genetic markers, EPOE for example, uh, we'll be able to link them directly back to behavioral characteristics too and look at some gene environment interactions that may also be apparent uh, in this group of survivors uh, that we could never look at before. All perhaps with the goal to, uh, to find out what it is that uh, allows some centenarians to function extremely well and others uh, less so.